I'm still happy I get to change the world, but it's not what it looked like. Juice World Into the Abyss was created from several hundred hours of footage as the artist became a streaming superstar. He grew up in the South suburbs as Jaron Anthony Higgins. Dynamic music powered through addiction and mental health struggles. You feel like you got anxiety. You feel like you got depression. They don't look at you like you're crazy. That's not how it should be. That's how it is, and that needs to change. And hopefully I'm one of those people that could bring that change. It's strange to see him rapping and talking about death before 21. I mean, that's, that's kind of eerie. It is. And I, I think that it's probably also related to why he lived his life the way he did, mm -hmm. where he enjoyed every day. And for whatever reason, he, he was keenly aware of his mortality and the possibility that he would not live to see old age. Sometimes it gets overwhelming, but this is what I asked for. Juice was a therapist for millions of kids, a voice of that generation. It's amazing to see this creative mind working like that. You know, when he's like just freestyling and going on and on and on. That's an incredible insight into the working mind of, of what we call a musical genius. Despite this outside success, he was still a kind, sweet, humble, person who didn't change. I want to say thank you and I love you to all my supporters out there. This is your world. You can do what I would want to do. Tell me, what do you think his legacy will be? Going down as the greatest freestyler of all time and one of the best artists of all time who was willing to be vulnerable and open in a way that will continue to help millions of people as they deal with things they're going through. Jose Sanders, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.